saying that too. Hello? Hey, what's going on, Kendra? You ready? What's your name, love? I'm Kenoy. You pronounced it right. That was pretty good. Say again. You, oh, I said all right, Kenoy. Kenoy. You ready? K okay. I, My yeah, bad. I yes, got a page. I'll read this after. I'll read this after. Um, all right, Kenoy, where are you calling me from? I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi. You have any um children? I have three kids. Three kids. How old are your three kids? Uh, my daughter is, my baby is 17, uh, and my other two kids are 25. They're both 20? Are they twins? Um, not quite. You had two women pregnant at the same time 25 years ago? In my defense, I was in college. I was a kid. I was 19, so in my defense. So you was, and, and, and your defense, you was 19, and you had two women pregnant at 19? Exactly, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't okay. do that, Kendra. Three, Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, we're just trying to get clarity. We're just trying to yeah, get clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever yeah. women and, and whenever women give they kids age, people will be realizing, that, oh, she was 17 when she had that child. So King Roy yeah. was 19 <laughs> with two women pregnant while he was Come in college. It is what it is, Kendra. <laughs> hey, Say it again. I'm so uh, yeah, married? I was married. I was yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was married 18 years. Who was was you married to one of your children's mom? The, my baby mom, the one that's 17. Oh, okay. Real quick, I'm just this is 25 years ago, so we'll move forward. But I'm just curious, how many months are there are your 25 year olds apart? Nine days. What? Did y'all have a that. joint baby shower? <laughs> yeah, one baby shower. That just had one baby shower, right? That. At that time. And, 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 and my and again in my defense, I was in college. So I did the 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 girl um I, I wasn't aware of. And so just so happened, you know, once Okay, we, I when found did you out. find out? So did you find out before she had the baby? No, after. After. Yeah, after she had the oh, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you had two women pregnant, but during the pregnancy you didn't know. I did exactly. Exactly. So how long was your child when you found out? 20. Wait a minute. Wow. 20. So for 20 years, you didn't know? 20. No. Didn't know so at all. So what happened? Then, the, mother, she, the mother didn't know or she just didn't want to tell you? No, no. But well, the mother knew. But when the mother found out, I had just recently got married, right? So she was like, I didn't want to bring that to your marriage. I'm like, but that was before my marriage. You should have you should have told me. So I actually missed out on, on my daughter's. I missed out 20 years on my daughter. Un, unknormally. But yeah. after oh, okay, this yeah. is a little different. I mean, it's still messy, but I thought it was one of those like you know a Nick Cannon situation where you and you yeah. went, you got a baby shower. No, on no, Sunday. I didn't run off. No, Wednesday I didn't run off. No, and but, Thursday. Okay. But the cool thing is know. when I found out. Yeah, the cool thing is when I found out, we picked the ball up and just rolled with it. So what made her tell you twenty years later? The mom. She did. The daughter reached out to me. So the daughter knew the whole time. No, she when she found out, she, so the daughter her, her whole life she wanted to know who her dad was. So she asked, I think her grandma or son, and like she was like, "Would you know him if you saw him?" And so she scrolled Facebook and found me, and she said, "Her grandma said that's him." She reached out to me, and so when she did, I didn't say anything to her. I reached out to her mom. I said, "You had a baby by me," and so that's where it went. And so we picked the ball up. And listen, I know you're not here for this, but I am just so nosy. What was so the mother's excuse was I didn't want to tell you for 20 years because you got married? Oh well, yeah, yeah, exactly. That was tacky. You yeah, know. I don't agree with this. I mean, listen, I'm happy y'all were able to pick things up, but like you said, you missed 20 years. And I think, ladies, listen, I'm not saying, listen, I know a lot of things go on both ends. Men be, listen, I I I ride with the girlfriends. I know y'all deal with a lot of shit for men at times. But you should never hold a child, the knowledge of a child from a man. And if things don't work out between you and that man, you shouldn't hold that relationship of that child with that man. Like you should allow every, children are innocent and they should have the opportunity to have fathers if fathers are willing to be their fathers. So I'm happy in the end it worked out that you guys picked up the ball rolling. So you picked up the ball rolling five years ago. 
Yep, yep. We've been rolling. That's my girl, man. Okay. All right. So there we have it. All right. When did you get divorced? On um, 19, 2019. 2019. Okay. You divorced, divorced. Like the state knows your divorce. Papers. <laughs> I got to be, you know, I got to be clear. I got to be, you know, yeah. the, Ver the Veronica law, they say. Um, what's your zodiac? How old are you, Kimroy? 47. 47. What's your zodiac sign? Um, a cancer. Cancer. All right. And what do you do for a living? I uh, work for an automotive plant. And, automotive uh, plant, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Nissan. All right. So we, we got. Oh, what happened, Kimroy? I can't see your face. I'm trying to find. Yeah, I'm trying to find. What what went on? Okay, I can't see you. That's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go. You can't see me, but we can see you. That's fine. Let's go. All right. All right. So we got Kim Roy. I'm saying it right, right? Quit messing Kim my Roy, name Kim up. Roy. It's Ken Noy. There's no K I N O Y. I know I keep adding no an R. R. Yeah, you keep adding an R. It's Ken Noy. You know, I'm dyslexic. I wrote it with an R. All right, here we go. Kim Roy, <laughs> Mississippi, three kids, um, 17 to 25 year olds. We got the backstory. 47 is a cancer, was once married, works at an automotive plant. What kind of woman are you looking for now? Uh, a, a nurturer. That, that's, that's, I'm, I'm big on that because I'm, I'm a country boy. So I, I'm looking for a nurturer, someone who's uh, – because women are actually designed to, to, to be nurturers. Uh, and so that's what I'm looking for. You know, I want to say that probably is the new – popular adjective for a while the word was submissive a lot of men were like i want a submissive really? woman yeah but now i've been hearing a lot of i want a caring woman i want a nurturing I mean, woman uh, i mean because like i think submissiveness of come a come with you know a woman that's nurturing you know what i mean a woman that can actually nurture the house the family you know what i'm saying and that woman that actually get to learn and know her man you know that makes sense all right, what else do you want? Um, I, I guess I would say, um, well, my daughter's 17, so she don't have to even accept kids. I have one more year of school, uh, and I'll be uh, an empty nester. And so I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to enjoy life. I mean, I've been on my job be 21 years in March, and so counting it down. Do you write, are you on the road to retirement? I, I'm, I'm actually on the road to retirement. Uh, I'm, I'm looking, I'm trying to do 25 years, uh, be 21 in March. And so like, like I said, my daughter, she'll be a senior next year. So okay. I'm, I'm open. So, so, okay. So now would you date a woman with children? <sighs> not with young kids. I, I, I would say nothing uh, under teenage years. I'm thinking my daughter's 17, so maybe a senior, okay. but I don't think anything under that. Okay, nothing under that. All right, now what about looks? Should she look a certain way? Uh, I, I, of course, I'm um, big on looks, so um, definitely fit. Um, not not concerned about height, but definitely fit. Um, natural. Now you gotta explain natural because we got a lot of things in the womenhood. We got makeup, we got hair, we got bodies. What does natural well, you know, mean to you? When I, when I say natural, I'm talking, you know, and, and having when they got no body work and then I'm talking straight natural. Okay, straight natural, no body work. Could she wear, could she, um, could she wear wigs and makeup? How do you feel about that? Hey, that's fine, as long as it's not overbearing. Okay, um, I didn't ask you your deal breakers. What's your deal breakers? Young kids, a, 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 a arm baby under 10, definitely deal breaker. Okay. Um, what about money? Since you make a certain amount of money, because you said you want to travel. Can, can handle her own. Definitely so if y'all travel, you want to be able to pay for herself, just for clarity. I mean, well, not, no, not pay for herself. No, that's fine. I mean, we can, we can travel. Maybe, you know, I get a room, she get, you know, she fly, whatever, but definitely uh, someone who's stable. If that makes sense. Stable. Okay. But if you travel, you'll pay for the room. I mean, I pay for the room, maybe a flight. But I mean, don't don't expect, you know, everything on my end. You know what I'm saying? I'm 47, I'm going into the 50. So I need you to be be ready to roll when I'm ready to roll. Like, I ain't got, you got to save up and all that. I'm ready to ride. Let's go. Okay. All 
Okay, fair enough. Um, all right, let's do it. I think we're time for the Kendrick can. You know what that is? Can Kendrick? you? Can, yeah, I, so I, 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 but I can't see. We can see you, so don't move it. Yeah, but I we can yeah, see. So six three. Yeah, six three. Uh, slam. Yes. Hi, that's why. Oh, you're six three. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, when was your last relationship? Uh, a year ago. Uh, yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a, it'd be a year in April first. It'd be a year April first. Okay, a year April first. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, maybe in December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around the Christmas break. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. And consistency um, is, is, my, is my biggest thing uh, in consistency. Uh, selfishness, uh, because I've been on my own so long and uh, I was married so long. And I'm used to always um, uh, deny myself. And so now I've got kind of selfish. So I've got to work on selfish, uh, inconsistency, and, um, um, and what the third thing would be probably... Um, Hmm. I guess I kind of lower my standards. I I, I think. Um, well, let me jump in, again, Roy. You know, I got. I, I'm not sure how familiar you are with my show, but uh, my cousins and I have coined them. I have cousins that work for the KBI. The KBI is the Kendra Bureau. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kids. Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. They 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 work harder than the FBI. Um, some of the KBI cousins are saying. You have your own single show on Facebook. I do, I do. Yep. So why are you calling me if you have your own single show? Uh, because, I mean, because I do, I I use mine to connect other people. I don't use it to connect me. That's what. That's that exactly is. what I'm doing. I use mine to connect people. Exactly. I, I don't. I don't. I don't promote on my own show. If that makes sense. So I I do it to it help other people. It does not make sense. If you have your own single show, I'm like. I mean, I, obviously, I'm in a relationship. But people hit on me at times on my show, so that of, would of be course. the best yeah, they place. Hit on, yeah, they hit. Yeah, they hit all the time, but it, so it's not for me. Because here's the deal: a lot of cousins are calling you Cloud Chaser, and you're just here to try to build up your own single show. Oh well, if, 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 if that's what the thought is, I'm definitely willing to get off. I bow down gracefully. No, not a Cloud Chaser at all. Uh, I do a lot of stuff here just in my hometown. I mean, so I'm a community activist. So I'm I'm good on my end. I just thought I'd come on. Listen, I, listen I, I'm going to always speak directly. We can continue. We're almost done. But it does seem weird to me. If So you host a show just like this? A exactly. For how long? Uh, Only about maybe, probably about three months. It hasn't been long at all. Because I, I was hosting it. Yeah, I was hosting a show. Uh, it's like a, it's like I just do a lot of stuff in my hometown and my community. And they so, said, "How come you never mentioned it? Why didn't you mention it to me?" Oh, you didn't ask. I'm, I'm answering well, I asked questions. You what you did? Oh, I mean, I work a nine to five, and but I also I've been hosting the show since 2016. Okay, the KBRA and, show. and you don't yeah. feel like. You don't feel like your own personal platform would be a better opportunity for you to find a woman? Oh man, like of course. I mean, but that that's not what that's for. You know what I mean? Like everything has its own purpose. And so that's not what that's for. That is for my people. You know what I mean? That's for them to do what they're doing and use that platform for that. And so I said, you know what, Kendra, I would love to come on the Kendra show and just kind of reach out and see what's going on. Um and I I mean it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I feel like Really? Um women that watch your show might be interested in, in you very much and so very much so, so i don't so so if someone watches your show and they reach out to you you definitely won't give her a shot i will i'll go on a date i'll date i will i will okay date. so but, then so okay if you go on a date then that means she has a shot well yeah well yeah i can go on a date i have no problem with dating but i'm very honest and open so i i do some dating hang out chill but i mean it just like I said, my show is for my people. It's not. I don't. I don't use it for my own gain, if that makes sense. I know. I get that. I get that. And I. And I. And I. You know. Obviously, this is what this show is for. 
But what I, I guess what I'm just saying is if you host a single show and you're single and I, I cause I, this is what I will say. If I make you a highlight, I know a lot of women will reach out to you because the truth of the matter is there's a lot of women who want to be in relationships. And also I have a lot of older women at times that request men that are older. So I know if I make you a highlight, a lot of women will reach out to you. But with that being said, I'm just trying to figure out why would the women from my show have a better chance than the women that watch your own show? Um, I wouldn't say they have a better chance. I mean, that's it's best woman win. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I love traveling, and so I do prefer a long distance relationship. If that makes sense, I, I prefer a long distance relationship uh, because uh, I'm a single dad. My daughter, I have a 17 year old daughter, live with me, and then I'm a caretaker for my dad also in my hometown. So I don't have a whole lot of time in town, but my downtime or my stress reliever is like try like traveling and so uh, a uh, long distance relationship i think uh would be more my speed if that makes okay sense. well that's okay we're almost at the end actually your three flaws right mm -hmm. all right why well, would want to be lucky to be with you kim roy <laughs> ken noy Oh my God, I did it again. That's my fault. <laughs> I want to add an R to your name so bad. That is my fault. Can, can, say it again. Can you? Can Noy. Say it. Can Noy. Can Noy. Why do women be like you with you? Uh, first of all, because I'm a very transparent and, and open guy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to travel. I'm willing. I'm, uh, I'm nurturing. I'm a giver. I have a big heart. Uh, I have a very big heart. And that's one of my. That's probably one of my flaws too. I have a big heart. I'm a giver, and um, and so um, I'm a country boy, and so I know know the ins and outs, fixed thing. I'm a house guy. Um, uh, I'm I'm a keeper, you know what I mean. But I just have to be something that I'm willing to be open to. I'm, I, I love. I, I'm spontaneous. Let me say that. Uh, but okay. I, I'm, I think I'm a great, great kid. I'm. You're 47. What's the age range you want to date? Uh the lowest I go, I would go probably 35, uh 47. The highs I go is probably maybe 55 at the most. 55. Um 45 to 55. Um, and would you get married again? I say, Kendra, honestly, I at this point I say I wouldn't until I'm my daughter is out of school or whatever, but I desire companionship. Mm. Okay, let's do it. So we have Kim Roy, Mississippi, three kids, 17, 25, and 25, 47 years old, um, is a cancer automotive, work for automotive plants. Right? Yes. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. How can women reach out to you? Hey, they can reach out to me, uh, K I N O Y Brown on Facebook. Uh, all my platforms. So that's, that's a K I N O Y Brown. K I N O Y Brown. Why? No all R. Right. No R. No R. I at know. All. Why do I keep doing that? Don't listen to me. <laughs> K N K I N O Y. K I N O Y. K I. He wants a woman. That's. I think the biggest thing is he's gonna. Um. He's going to. <laughs> don't want to. I did it again. He's going to. He wants to travel. So you gotta have free time. I'm assuming. Yeah, a lot of free time. Yeah. All right. All right. Hi. Um, yes. Okay. Keep me posted how it goes. Cool. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Bye, baby. All right, baby. Bye, bye. Um, let me say this: a couple things. Um, to the cousins. So, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna do two. To all my cousins, I love you. To the cousins that's about to get on my nerves, you kiss my ass. Okay. And this, this, this kiss my ass message. You can decide if this kiss my ass message belongs to you or not. If you feel a certain type of way after I finish saying what I got to say, then this kiss my ass message was dedicated to you. First things first, y'all the ones that told me he had a Facebook show. I'm doing the interview, okay? And I seen the comment over and over again. So unless one of the cousins or a couple of cousins didn't tell me he had a Facebook show, I would have never brought it up. So let's start there. So I can't be a hater because I didn't bring it up. Y'all brought it up. Now, let me say this. I do not like talking about people that passed on. Okay, so I want to I want to be respectful, and and I soon come I will I will respond to a lot of things. But in this method, I'm gonna respond to this. 
Um, yes, I was on Kevin Samuel's show, but I was on Kevin Samuel's show as Kendra G, the host of my single show. I wasn't on his show looking for a guy. I was on his show to act. I was at the time there was things he said that I agree with. People always say, Kendra, you need to give him an apology. I'm on record with things that he said I agree with. And then I'm also on record things that he said I didn't agree with. So for those saying when you was on the Kevin Samuel show, you're right. And I went on there as Kendra G. The host of Single Show. I wasn't on his show looking for a guy. So let's just be clear. So as you are a Kendra cousin and you're trying to tell stories, tell these bitches right. Because y'all y'all at the family reunion table, child, telling the story all messed up. Now, a lot of times I just let y'all asses talk. And I let my life be a reflection to the bullshit a lot of y'all say. But then every now and then, I got to come down to the family reunion table with you and tell you to kiss my ass and tell the stories about me correctly, okay? So again, I don't know which cousin that kissed my ass message was for, but if you felt it was about you, then it was. Let's keep going, child. 